in church is getting robbed, even as she sits and prays. I couldn't believe it. The surveillance video starts as 78-year-old Linda Morrow arrives early for a prayer meeting at Hilldale Baptist Church in Clarksville, Tennessee. Two women join her. One sits in front, the other right behind. They strike up a conversation. Then it happens. One stranger asks Linda to hold hands and pray together. Her head bowed and eyes closed. Linda is distracted. Cops say the woman behind reaches into her bag, takes out Linda's wallet, and helps herself to the cash and other items. Then she puts the empty wallet back in Linda's bag. The two women hightail it out of the church. Cops say these suspects went on a $7,000 shopping spree at a Sam's Club store using Linda's credit cards. Later that night, the outraged pastor Larry Robertson spoke out about the theft from the lectern. Keep your eye on your wallet even at church, I guess. I just never in a million years thought about anything like that happening. It's sickening. What happened is ridiculously evil. I mean, as a Christian, you have to use 10% of your salary to promote and justify and help in the word of God. How you use your money, you can give the church or do your thing yourself. Maybe they were like, lady, we're going to help you. We're going to take 10% and we're going to go shopping. <laughs> I'm like, come on, man. I just don't understand how we have so much security in 2023 and we can catch almost anybody, but for some odd reason, petty crime is allowed. As if that's going to help. You don't believe me? The guy voice. This guy is harassing people consistently because guess what? He can go in and go out, get arrested, get out and life is good. It's like the PSYOP that have been calling people. If you normalize there is no consequences, even when you're caught for petty stuff, what the heck do you think is going to happen? Fox 2 reported on the incident in Stockton as allegedly the suspect had stolen cigarettes into a garbage bag, came back the next day to rob them again while allegedly armed demanding money, and both times the police only came after he had already escaped. So the third time, they didn't even call the police. One guy grabbed him while the other guy started playing pinata on the perpetrator, and this actually caused him to be finally arrested, where the DA stated they will not pursue charges against these 7-Eleven employees. That's racist. Why? is it normal that people can do something over and over through empathy because you don't want to send them to prison and you're going to normalize and other stuff you're going to build a new cancer that i need to accept because i don't understand their struggle they're not kids we don't need to beat around the bush because they don't understand the world they're freaking adults and we're treating them like kids all i can say is these ladies that's robbed another lady through empathy and bought so many useless poop clothes, seven thousand. Let's look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, and why? If you bought food, I could understand it. Seven thousand. Imagine it was the money she was saving to pay for a medical thing for somebody. Maybe she was going to donate it to BLM. I don't know. You might have destroyed the perspective of a person that you're gonna say you're general seven thousand. Ay, 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 mama mia, man. I don't like people that look like me that ruin things for me and when I try to call them out for that, suddenly I'm part of the supposed enemy. When I'm trying to treat everybody equal and that is a bad thing. Woo! Spread the message, like, share the usual, peace.